Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and again I'm playing in the new craft journal and you can see I'm just adding a thin layer of gesso, clear gesso to the page um, just to kind of help the gloss spray that I'm going to be using to not seep into the paper too much so that the colours will stay quite vibrant. So this is the new Sedona gloss spray. Um, it's not a colour that I often choose to use really. I'm often drawn, as you probably know, to the pinks and the purples and the warm colours. And although this is a warm colour, it's um, not a red that I would choose to use. But anyway, it's good to challenge yourself, isn't it? And use things that you don't normally pick. So I've just paired it with magenta. And um, you know, might notice that this is in a different spray bottle. So some of my gloss sprays have stopped working. So I bought some cheap spray bottles off Amazon and I just pour them into those um, when they stop spraying because I do like to use them as sprays as well as to pour them um, but it's nice to have the option isn't it. So then I'm putting magenta paint through this angled paint blobs stencil which is also from Dina Wakely and um, just this is a brilliant stencil for adding some direction to your pages. Um, I really like how you can kind of point the arrows at the thing that you want to be your focal point so I'm just adding some areas of stenciling on using a makeup sponge to apply the paint through the stencil. Okay, then I'm using the Squoval stencil, which is also from Dina Wakely, and I'm using some white paint through that. And I am adding some areas of stenciling. I'm kind of uh, making them touch the stenciling that I've already added, and I'm not using every square on the stencil. I'm just picking and choosing some parts, and you can see that I've used parts of some of the Squovals as well, and not the whole bit. Okay, so then I'm going in with some Sedona paint and I'm using it through this stencil which is called Pieces. This is also from Dina Wakely um, and just adding some dashes onto the page as well. So when I build my journal pages to start off with, I often use just the paint and stencils, maybe a bit of collage paper. Um, but I usually use the same colours to stencil with that I've used initially to lay down on the page. And that way you're not uh, making your page too crazy. However, as you will know, if you've watched my videos before, sometimes I do go for crazy too, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. So then this is um, a chipboard shape. It's one that I've had for a very long time. It's definitely a Dina Wakely one, but it's an older one and it's quite large. And um, I thought it would work brilliantly on this new journal page um, and then this is some text collage paper which is from a pack called text collage um, from Dina Wakely and it just says blah 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 all over it I really like it I wish there were bigger sheets of this because I think it's one of my favorite ones um, and I'm using some uh, matte medium just to stick this down so this is going to give me a place to stand my chipboard figure on so that it isn't kind of floating in the air I'm also going to add a couple of pieces up near the top of the journal page just to create a bit of balance. Okay, so now those are down and it's dry, I'm going to be adding some circles, which I'm stamping on using some tubes and different circle shapes that I've shaved, uh, I haven't shaved them, I have saved them <laughs> from, from uh, things that are finished and empty. Um, and just 
adding some stamping onto the page too. Then I'm just adding um, a line, some sort of shadow lines where the figure is going to stand and I'm using the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to staple this figure into place. Quite often when I do this I do paint over the staples so that they don't show through. I think that's just me being a bit particular. I don't like them to uh, be particularly visible, although you can kind of see through. You can see where the paint's gone over the, the staples, but I don't, I'd rather that than this shiny silver staple showing. So then I'm using a white Posca pen and I'm adding some uh, mark making, some dots onto the page too. Just a few, not too many, because I don't want it to be too busy. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write my text onto the uh, chipboard shape. So that's where my words are going to be on this page. So I'm using the Signo Uniball in white and I'm just adding this uh, text onto here. And um, it stands out quite well because it's such a good contrast with the black on the figure. So then I'm using the stamp from the, I think it's the Make Things Happen stamp set, which is again quite directional, works quite well with the uh, stenciling on there. And that's the finished page. There it is. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again soon.